Hello and welcome to this edition of Ask Dr. Robin. I'm Dr. Robin Silverman, Child and Teen Development Specialist and creator of the Powerful Words Character System. Today's letter is from Rachel in Randolph, Massachusetts, who writes, Dear Dr. Robin, we recently moved out of our first house and moved closer to where our children's grandparents live so that they can help take care of the children during the time where we work. Our new neighborhood is a lot more diverse than our previous one, and I want our children to be more tolerant of differences in people so that they can make new friends. How do I do this? Well, thank you, Rachel. I appreciate the question. This is a great opportunity for your children to learn about the value of an open mind. While we might not always agree, it's vital that we show respect for one another so that we can live cooperatively and, of course, we can make new friends. So here are some tips for your family, not just the kids, as they get to know their new surroundings and their neighbors. Number one, be aware of your attitude. We might not always realize our cultural biases, but our children are going to absorb what we have. As adults, it's important to take a step back and reevaluate our own thoughts and beliefs. Do we show respect? Are they showing respect? If not, we need to change that. Number two, watch what you do or say. Little eyes are watching, little ears are always listening. What comments are we making at the TV? What comments are we making when we're at a restaurant that has a different culture? When we're around different people, how do we act? What do we say? And be aware of that. Number three, speak about differences in a respectful manner. What makes different people in your lives unique and interesting? What can we learn from them? Support your children in asking questions and exploring the answers. What do people celebrate? What are their traditions? What kind of foods do they eat? Maybe we could even try some of those new foods that are different to us so that we can see that people are amazing all the way around. Number three, read and learn about different experiences. Try to find out about different traditions in different ways. There's great books out there. There's great movies. Again, try new food. Listen to different people's stories. Invite different people from different backgrounds to your, your celebrations and ask if you can go to them. What rich friendships we can have when we keep an open mind and we learn from one another. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you'll come back for the next time when we do Ask Dr. Robin. Please continue to send in your questions. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful, happy holiday and a very powerful month. Goodbye, everyone.